What's going down? Basement Bands Channel, DC Multiverse Weekly is the show. I'm your host, Thor. We're back. It's another one. It's been a week, maybe two, maybe four, but we're back. It's DC Multiverse Weekly because there is a ton of news. I got my good friend John Constantine and a customized Lobo to the reviews coming soon-ish uh, as we get back into content creation mode around here. The last uh, month of summer has been a little, been a little slowed down. Been here, been there, been all around. So it's, you know, now it's time to get back at it, start getting some fresh plastic, start getting some fresh content, and it all starts with this DC Multiverse Weekly. But <clears throat> right off the bat, let's talk about that DC uh, Multiverse. Batman, Arkham City, Build-A-Wave. It, they started with a Batman, the, the Arkham City Batman, which there's been some complaints about inaccuracy, but... For, for real, I thought it was pretty decent. Honestly, all we've gotten is the promo picture still, the one promo picture. But that's cool. Um, I, I'm happy to have another Batman. Yeah. But it is a build-a-wave, so he's necessary. Um, I never got the Arkham Knight Batman. I do have the Arkham Asylum Batman, the dirty one. But so, And then second piece of that wave, Penguin with an umbrella. That's what I'm talking about, people. He's got a top hat. He's got an umbrella. He looks pretty maniacal, even with his monocle that, I don't know, it, it's kind of weird looking. The monocle's not, nah, could use a little bit. But we're getting a penguin with an umbrella and a build a figure piece to who we don't know yet. Uh, Catwoman's the third piece to the puzzle right here. This is super accurate Catwoman. I got to say, I do dig the, the I do dig this look. You know, you got the, gla- the goggles up top. Just a black suit. This is a clean, crisp Catwoman. I think this is a Catwoman. Cat, uh, this is a regular cat. I mean, you can't really say much. You can't complain too much about this Catwoman, to be honest with you. Um, it's, it'll be a great to have, finally have to the... It's been, what, two years? And we're finally getting our first Catwoman. Not the movie version. So, and Penguin, not the movie version. Wow, really? Huh. Crazy. That is crazy. The... the Fourth piece to the puzzle, though, of this Batman Arkham City wave was Ra's al Ghul. Ra's al Ghul, Ra's al Ghul, however you want to pronounce it. Um, <clears throat> the the head of the League of Assassins himself. When I saw this, when I saw this Ra's al Ghul, I was, I was pleasantly surprised because I wasn't sure what we were going to get. I dig that he has the sword. I dig the leather vest and shoulder pads. The the head sculpt looks pretty good. It looks gray on the side. We like we've we only gotten these promo pictures still. We've got no further pictures released on their even website on like the McFarlane website where you get kind of the more you know you get to see what's in the box, how the box looks, all those sort of the closer look pictures. We haven't got those yet. All we got are these. And then finally, it was the build a what wave. It's build a Born on a Monday, it's Solomon Grande. Um, this is, I mean, look at this. He's he's got the chains around the hands. This is a great Solomon Grundy. I remember one of the versions they had for the Arkham had a bunch of knives in his back. We don't know what the back of this guy looks like. If it was knived out, it would be a very very pleasant surprise. I I do dig the 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 face sculpt looks great. The body sculpt looks great. I mean, this looks like a hulking massive figure, like online with, you know, the Bane build a figure or the King shark was pretty beefy. This looks like a a beefy boy. And I am, I need him as part of my rogues gallery. Obviously our rogues gallery continues to grow. I mean, now a penguin, a Solomon Grundy, a Raja Ghoul, Catwoman, even here or there, you can throw her on both sides, but ah, this is a, this is a rock solid wave. Now, I'm still waiting Black as Nightwave. I mean, there's still some things I got to, but this one's coming and it's, I think it's a must get. Even if, because I have Arkham Origins, Deathstroke, um, I have an Arkham Joker, an Arkham Batman. There's another, there's the Arkham Scarecrow that's coming that we've talked about. Uh, it's, you know, they're, they're killing me with these, killing me with these. Now let's talk briefly about the 17 Walmart exclusive gold label figures that have come out in the last month since I've been off and how I haven't been able to find any of them. P- Parallax, Asbat, Dark Flash, Shazam. Dark Flash still unannounced, by the way. Shazam announced, 
Parallax announced, Asbad announced, all hitting stores, all out there. Go find them. And if you find some extra, give me, hit me up. I'm still looking. I, I can't find, I can't find any of them. I found stores that have said they've had three of certain figures in stock, six of certain figures in stock. And you know what I've, I've found at the end of the, that visit? Bub kiss. So thank you, Walmart. Ugh, gold labels. Exclusives. Ugh. But they are all dope figures. I mean, that Asbat is sick. I need that Parallax. I want a Dark Flash. There's three different versions, like the like the Crow Robins. But Shazam is a little meh on. Uh, I'll be honest with you. It looked something about this proportions looks off to me. I thought it was fake when I first saw it, and I don't know that I'm gonna get it. But he's out there, so you could go get him. So mm. and then just today, honestly, I was hoping there was gonna be no new news, but then I saw this new page punchers dc direct i know it's dc multiverse weekly but we do a little dc direct the page punchers my guy constantine right here um another exclusive comic book injustice 2 they teased batman here he is shadowed batman oh i need another batman i didn't buy the batman for the page punchers didn't buy the black adam for the page puncher constantine's the only one i got so i don't know I mean, I've told, I've talked before about my be, being at my precipice for Batman's. How many of these comics do I need? If I get the Rock Black Adam, do I really need that comic Black Adam? Yes, I do. But is it something where I'm gonna like have to get it? <clears throat> you know, right when I saw it for twenty four ninety nine, or is that something I'm feeling confident enough I can get down the road for cheaper? I found one hidden in a Target a couple weeks ago that was rock solid. So I don't know what would, what do you want to see from this? Okay, if you're super into the Injustice, which I'm not, so I'm. Meh. But if you are, and this Page Punchers line is like right down your, you know, whoo, wheelhouse, what do you want to see? What four figures do you want besides Batman and Superman and probably Flash and maybe a Green Lantern or a Wonder Woman? I mean, honestly, it's going to be, right? Right? I mean, there's going to be, right? If they throw, um, we'll see. We'll see. Out of everything I talked about, what do you need? What do you got? What are you getting? What are you pre-ordering? You know what to do. You know where to do it. Till the next one. Deuces.